हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हर्ष एंड टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सिस्टम कॉल्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सिस्टम कॉल्स प्रोवाइड एन इंटरफेस बिटवीन यूजर प्रोग्राम्स एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट इज़ अ प्रोग्रामेटिक वे इन विच यूजर प्रोग्राम्स रिक्वेस्ट सर्टन सर्विसेज लाइक एक्सेसिंग हार्डवेयर रिसोर्स फ्रॉम द कर्नल लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द टू मोड्स इन विच अ प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूट्स these are user mode and kernel mode when a program is executing in user mode it is not in privileged mode so whenever it needs any hardware resource like ram or printer it needs to make a call to the kernel and this is known as a system call when a program is executing in kernel mode it is executing in privileged mode so it can access any hardware resource so when a program needs to access any resource while it's running in user mode it makes a system call to the kernel then a context switch occurs which takes the program from user mode to kernel mode after the resource is accessed one more context switch occurs which takes back the program's execution to user mode now you may wonder why aren't all programs being executed in kernel mode so we can skip the context switching from user mode to kernel mode this is because if a program crashes in kernel mode entire system will be halted so most programs are executed in user mode because if it crashes there entire system won't get affected now let us understand system calls with the help of an example so if we want to write a program to copy the content of one file into another first of all our program will need the names of those file user will give these names by either typing names in the console or by choosing the files by using the graphical user interface so a program will need to make system calls to the kernel to enable it to access the input and output devices also our program will need to display certain messages if the program is successfully completed or even if it stops and is aborted all these tasks require system calls system calls are of different types so let us study them one by one the first one is process control processes need to be controlled as in a running process must be able to halt its execution either normally or abnormally also one process may need to run some other process to complete its own execution so all these system calls come under process control they include create process or terminate process load a process or execute a process etc the second type of system calls is file management system calls which deal with operations related to files fall under this type this include creating a file or deleting a file opening or closing a file etc the third type is device management a process may need to access several resources for its execution so system calls used for accessing various resources come under this type they include requesting a device which the process needs to access or releasing a device after it has been used or logically attaching or detaching devices the fourth type is information maintenance we need to keep all the information up to date and these type of system calls help us to do that the system calls included under this type are getting or setting time or date getting or setting system data etc the fifth type is communication based system call different processes need to communicate with each other for many reason one of them can be if a process needs certain resource which is held by some other process then this process needs to communicate with that process and ask that process to release the resource because it needs it so these system calls help us to do that If you liked my video 
please like it share it and leave some comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching